Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Ruined King. Let's close this off and punch this guy instantly in the face before we get some damage from those uh, flying bolts. No, they're not. Definitely, they're not. I uh, have to have to deal as much damage as possible to that thing at the back. Let's do this. And this instantly to everyone. Damn. Yeah, okay, on her is fine. Okay. Many things. Oh. Thank you. Shit. What power? I keep forgetting how powerful Pike is, really. Those guys are kind of like uh, one. Uh, I can't put myself in the zone, so it's fine. Uh, I can't, I'm gonna focus this thing because it's be being hasted. This is not, so let's uh, target this with the uh, healing thing. I'm consuming a lot of uh, mana here because we are gonna have to rest. I think we can do this, both of them, because I want to deal equal damage to both of them. If one of them, if one of them dies, the other one might revive before we actually kill the other one. Let's do this. And unfortunately, he uh, kind of beat on the other thing, on the other one, the one that I didn't want him to actually hit. See, that thing is supposed to be the source for her tentacles. Okay, we're invisible. Good, you can take it out. Let me hear you beg. We can stun this. Let's stun this guy. Put myself in this area. Good. Full health almost. Good. One more tentacle. Perfect. We're full, uh, full on tentacles. Great. She should be fine here. She should survive this. And we stun him and push him way back. And then we can do this and take them out at the same time. Good. You see, Pike, um, we, you just have to give him some time to reach his ultimate and he can just simply AOE everything. I really like dealing with his ultimate more than the rest. Uh, they're all good. I'm not saying that they're bad or anything. Would you stop it, man? Would you stop this for your sake. Wait, that opened up by itself? Wait. Oh! That's not a... No. Okay, I'm not gonna rest. I don't want to reset and go back in here. We have to go there. Can't deal with this. I have to wait for them to shoot and then follow them. I wanted to honestly to touch that thing, see what it would offer me, maybe healing or something. Or they will die. 
That's okay. Good. We're gonna have to do this to all of them. And you have to taunt. She has no mana anymore, so she can't really do much, but I want them to focus on her as much as possible. Yeah, that's not the type of focus I really wanted, to be honest. This should deal a lot of damage to all of them. Great. Beautiful. One more. This. Great. You should be able to backstab here, this guy. I think it's a shield, unfortunate. That's okay. He didn't do much. I mean, Haunting Dream is not the worst. Physical and magical. Which I did not realize it's that potent. Um, okay, it's okay. Let's heal her. Possible. I don't think she's gonna be able to do survive. I think she's gonna take a beating here. She's I still have more to very close. Great, okay. Very good. Wait, what? He just... Isn't it supposed to be a long delay? After a long delay. Damn it. Take this thing. Let's do this. Take it out, it's okay. I could also wait for the um, second uh, ult, but there's no point. His ult deals a lot of damage if it's... And the good thing is if it's an AoE and uh, there's only one person, it still deals the same exact damage. It doesn't just say, well, okay, it's one person, we're gonna keep it like... 20% of the damage now. Let's collect this, wherever that is. And apparently we start fishing again. Nothing. I keep throwing it as far as possible because I, I, I want to see if there's anything in the background, you know? I'm not sure if I said this before. A treasure. Oh, 16, that's good. I have to throw it a lot closer now. No, even a lot closer. You know, um, after after a certain distance, uh, you don't really need to follow the guides that they give you, like the directions and stuff. Like this is very close. Even if I just click on this, I'm just clicking E, not even taking direction. The aim, it just follows it. It's okay. It would be faster to actually follow what they're giving you, but... Not that it matters much.
right on top of it. <laughs> Deep sea lurker. Move up. What? Okay. Real. Okay, let's check the uh, inventory, the chest that we got, this thing. Mm. Normal stuff, expected more. We got a Negatron clock, which is level 16 though. It's a blue one. It decreases my health by a lot. Damage a bit more, magic defense a bit more, but the rest is a bit lower. Not a big change, you know? It's fine. So we go around, I have no idea what we have in the conjuring chambers, and we have the path of dusk. I don't know if we're supposed to go left or right, to be honest. The door is locked uniquely. Uh, the door is unique, is unique, ornately decorated with odd materials, smelling vaguely of sulfur. It's, it features no handles or keyholes, but it's warm to the touch and seems to react slightly when nudged. Uh, Brom. Okay, sure. Yeah, we can get Brom. Kind of healing. We have to go and reset. To get Brom. Here. Rests only. Yeah. Do you not sleep, Ari? I try, but around others, it's difficult. Better to stay awake, in control. You have proven you are worthy of our trust. We have no reason to fear you. I wish that were true. I came here searching for answers, but it seems the more I seek, the less I know myself. I too struggle to find truth, but our destiny awaits us. When we embrace motion, every step brings us closer to it. When we stop, we become frozen in place. Then, we are lost. I have been lost for so long. I wonder what my life could have been. What destinies have already passed me by? Allow we can talk gibberish, you know? All were paths leading to where you are now. Here with us, where you must be. Our destinies are entwined. I believe you are right. Thank you for helping me along my path. Allow uh, just... In that scene especially, she... I don't know how to put it, but she just talks. <laughs> you know, let's get Rom and see what we can do there. Uh, it's, it doesn't it doesn't make sense what whatever she's saying. It's just oh, our destinies and they're entwined and things are gonna happen and you know, let it happen and blah blah. Stand up, get nothing. I wanted to hit him. I honestly wanted to try and avoid him, but. At the last second, I thought, well, I, it seems like I'm not gonna be able to do that, so let's just hit him. And that did not help him. Yeah, Brom, let's just do this. And then put our shield up. Thank you, buddy. Start by attacking this thing, if they allow me. Okay, he's bleeding a magic thunder. Oh, I had magic thunder because I attacked him. Awesome. I did not attack them, so it's fine. And I'm gonna heal it. Keep the shield up, buddy.
I don't want to uh, consume much of mana. Because I'm going to a place that I have no idea what we're going to face there, so I don't want to do that. You make this look easy. Okay, good. We have now Executioner on Pike. Oof. Put a shield on ourselves and... Let's do this. On the power lane. And then this on both of you. Of course, I mean, when we get a chance to ult with Pike, we're not gonna ult with anyone else. a lot. Hmm, didn't expect that. Okay, well I can uh, do this again. And now we can do his thing. His executioner thing. A thousand something for this guy. Right before he actually gets to act. Shield up. Thank you. Big shields. I think this is good here. Wait, he's supposed to die by that guy, so maybe I do something more like this. Maybe this. Yeah, stun him. Concussion. Good. She stuns him. Oh, he assembled like right away, man. Again with this. And he heals, of course. One thousand nine hundred. Let's go for this on him. The shield up, and you can. Alt if we want to. Let's not that do that. Let's just continue with this. This guy. He's okay. He's still okay. Now they're kind of machine-like, you know, they don't really think, so you end up shooting yourself in the, well, I'm gonna say foot. You know, this guy, okay, good. Skip, let Brom have it. No door can match, Brom, adventure can friendship surely be owned, okay. Even the heaviest door can be broken, sure, a Brom stand... <laughs> uh, Abram stands over the once mighty door, his mustache and eyebrow got into particular expression, his faithful power watch with interest. Abram shall keep this, you'll never know, this door smells like volcano, wonderful. Ah, uh, we got a volcanic hut. Okay. Equipment. What do we get? This. That's kind of shit. A strong shield infused with the raging power of a volcano. 
90% over and hit to the target will get 194 true damage over 3. This will poison for 295. So that's not even close to being powerful. Let's get in here and see what we can get. Some stuff, okay. A silver rod and shadow guard. Government. Yes, yeah, so, whoa, oh, shadow garb. This is shadow melt garb. We have this. We've increased this, increases my haste, and this um, increases my strength, my, my stamina, and attack power. It is not that much of a difference, to be honest, and it does increase my uh, haste and evasion by a bit. I may actually go for this. Okay. It's not clear with what this strange... What is so strange about this giant statue of an ancient sage. Upon the party approach, a small set of runic glyphs appear at the statue's pointing finger begin to emit a jet of light. What purpose these features serve remain unclear, however, the jet of light does not correspond to anything in the room, and the glyphs signify a random assortment of cardinal and intern intercardinal intercardinal direction. Uh, the statue faces south. Southwest, okay. Northwest. Pointed there. Oh wait, southwest, northwest. Wait, wait. Northeast. Oh right, southwest, northeast. Okay. South. Sorry about this. So, yeah. So I have no idea why this is a thing. I don't see anything here or there or there or there for it to interact with. Perhaps we need to go here for it to... So if I, for example, say right now southeast or whatever, how would it react? Okay, so... Wait a second, so... It did not point this way before, right? Let's say northwest. Previously it was southwest, which was here. Yeah, it's the same. It is the same. South. Nope. So it is practically the same. I have no idea what we would do with it. So it's pointing and has a light shining through it. I mean, it could be pointing towards the wall here. Because there's like a library and stuff. Could be to pointing towards that side, because there's... I mean, this. We have this down here. Which has nothing in there. And here, which is the entrance. I'm not sure what to expect with this. Um, conjunction chamber. Perhaps I need to finish this up 
And then we'll have to get back to this. We'll see. Oh man, I don't want to fight it. Can you? Okay, you just die. Damn it. I don't want to fight it. Okay, we're gonna have to ignore it for a bit. Let's do this to this guy. Oh, bum. Okay, it's under it. You are gonna taunt. And shield up, please. Yeah, you're okay. The thunder is an issue though, but it should be fine. 156, it should not kill it unless it quits. We're gonna try it. Good stuff, okay, now we have that. Okay, let's do this. He has execution around, so you should have a bunch of damage to deal with. I'm gonna do this here and then we are gonna use you to do this here and then, okay. and then you punch this he gets to act which is okay fine should be fine A slight mistake, but it's okay. Great stuff. We're getting pretty good at this. Yes, we are. Put it right here. We kick him with this, and then uh, Pike should be able to finish it. Hopefully. Not sure. Yep. Great. Perfect. I'm trying to avoid those fights because I mean maybe I should not because we're very close to leveling up but and I'm trying to avoid them uh, because I don't want to take way too much time in a location where I've already finished so we're gonna go down here and see what we can do with this I can see that there is like two bridges that are kind of broken so perhaps that thing has something to do with it We'll see. Hey! Oh, wait, that's not it. Okay. Wait. This door. The markings on it are reacting to my sunstones. Is this the work of the Vasani? these stones with me since I was a new one. They've been my only connection to the past. They seem like... A key, searching for a lock. They've been with me this entire time. They are not just artifacts. They are vessels, for memories. There was barely any energy left in them, but it was enough to unlock this door. It was no coincidence then. No. My ancestors, the Vasani. They were somehow tied to the Blessed Vaults. In ways I still don't understand. The keys to your past grant insight into your future. <laughs> Let us see what destiny has in store for Steyr. No, before you see, it is just rest. I did not expect. Okay, good. 
Uh, we're gonna rest and then see because this could be a, a fight and if it's a fight then I will need um Lowy with me and probably I will have to rest and eat meal and then save good all right, all right. this should be worth it here It keeps telling me that I'm 49% into the game. I mean, I've been playing for hours today, and I'm still 49%. That's not even 1%. Looking at corrupting shadow. Okay. Shadow gather applies a stack of shadow tendril every other turn. So he has legendary haste and immune to stun. Okay. Rend shadow deals moderate damage over two hits and summons a shadow tendril. Shadow Assault deals heavy magic damage and consumes the Shadow General dealing light through damage to, for each. Adds hazard to random lanes which deal light damage to champions in them and summon a Shadow General. Awesome. Okay, so uh, let's start by... By doing this. Granting myself shed um, invisibility, fight and then me. we do this to fight me, and then we need to kind of do this on the power lane. Yeah, okay. I think you're kind of regretting saying fight me, aren't you? So this should put me in a, in that location. And then we can actually act afterwards, but I think I want this first. Let's do this. What? Oh, so he is Shadow Tendrils? They kind of hurt, hurt random people, including it. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, look at this. So here we're fine, here's the power lane, but look at this zone. We have to kind of work our, our way around it and dodge it. This would put me in this zone, for example. Nope. None of this is actually worth it. Let go here. Oh, this would put me here. This is better. You can get me out of this location. I feel the power growing. What the? That's stupid. I'm sorry, but that is really stupid. Where's the revival thing? This. That's minor. You have anything more than minor? And you dare to even say, fight me, huh? Okay. What Chill, what the crap? More for me. Ha. 
I can't even freaking move. Are you kidding me now? I will have to take this to deal as much damage as possible for before they actually die for no reason. Okay, let them breathe for a bit. Go to the speed lane. Try to heal each other. Go here. To the speed lane. Try to heal them. Again. Or maybe go to the power lane because he's gonna deal his damage no matter what I do. Cloud of Shadows. Beautiful. Okay. Many thanks. He is immune to stuns, I know, but I'm gonna have to do this. Again with this crap. He's immune to stuns, so that's not gonna be of any help. Let's just do this to it. Stun immune, okay, it's fine. Okay, she should be able to... Oh, maybe she should not be. I think we, we can kill him here. But the dude hurts. I have to say, I mean, dude... Cheers to you, man. I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, you would have slaughtered them. His damage is just ridiculous. Perhaps we needed Braum to kind of cleanse the stuff? I'm not sure. More of darkness. Gleaming skull. It's a weapon probably for her. They healed. Leveled up. We get level 3 of those stuff. And then probably the same thing happens to them. And level 3 of those. Level 3. Anyone else getting tired of surprise attacks? Our resolve is strong. We have repelled the shadows. The mist retreats from the roots. This vault is cleansed. What of the blessed water? While Maokai's roots appear to be healed, the blessed water here has long been dried out. Do not fear, Bram. We will find a cure for your people. I'm sure of it. For now, we should return to Maokai. Hopefully this will be enough to clear the way forward. Wait. Um, first things first. Abilities, we got those. That was a tough fight, like, I wasn't expecting any of this. So we got a third point in, uh, I think, this. Wait. Yeah, this. I'm not using this to its full potential, I think. I should. The same thing goes for this. I think this is very useful also. Dispel two buffs from the target. Champion attacking the target will heal for an additional 13 HP. 
I think we need to dispel. I think we need to do this. I'm seeing a bunch of buffs now. Maybe they're not enough to excuse this, though. Maybe we keep it. It's fine. I mean, that's that's not a small amount. It may look small, but it's not. Harsh lesson. Reduce mana costs. I think I don't need this. Each target for an additional this. That's 20 MP. Oh, okay, no, that's that's a big decrease, I think. Tidal slam deals this. Under increased physical damage taken by 10% for each other, allow it to start damage done. This for 10%. Push back all enemies. Add magic thunder to all. I may be misusing some of these stuff. Each tentacle strike will heal the most wounded ally. No, we need this. Increase maximum tentacles to 6 from 5. I think we need both of those. Can I read this? That's better. Mm, I think this is fine. For Brom, he got something in this. We need we use this a lot. Cle when cast and the power link lenses deep ups. Push target forward by a moderate amount. Hmm. That's not bad, you know. What else did we get? Something in his push and yeah, I think the rest are just normal stuff. Okay, I think we need to do one of those. Cleanse a debuff each turn. Each turn. That's not bad. When fighting someone like this poison guy or the or flying, flying, something, whatever you want to call it. Or yes, wall. Has 25% chance to grant an extra t turn. It's on enemies, but reduces damage of each. No, uh, I think this. Sandor increasing physical damage taken by 10% for 3 turns. Adds a bleed, dealing true damage. I take true damage over three turns. In this, every time we use it, we gain something out of it. Wait, uh, Pike. Uh, what did we gain? We this and this are the same. We are using this now more often. I think this is okay. Let's see. Let's do it this way, I think. Let's go to equipment, check her out. She did not get this, that wasn't one of those. Really? It's this? Living skull. Physical defense, magical defense, bonus damage, and crit. Not on you, most likely. It's not gonna be that useful on you, I think. I think those guys can actually benefit out of it a lot more. Maybe Yasuo can actually do well with this. A bit less damage, but a bit more crit and more physical defense. Um, for him, he does this. It's the same. It's exactly the same. 
decreases the evasion chance. But it's fine. I think it's fine. Let's go for this. Try it out. We can also boost it if we want to. Right? Uh, make it purple. And I think I will. Maybe confusion. Uh, where is it? This. There you go. Now this should be a lot better, right? Yes or You like this? Yeah, that's good. This is very good now. It's a lot better. Right. Now let's see if we can improve your weapon. Enchantment again. Go for this. Yes, was sword. Oh, not this. It's a green one. Let's make it here, right? This. And then make it purple. I like his weapons level 18, so it's fitting to his position right now. 50. We've spent a lot of this, but I think it's worth it. Good. Alright, let's check what we have in I should have checked this before. Yeah, okay. Nothing bad. We did not really get something better than the stuff that we have, so... Ancient Bulwark. A shield crafted by inhabitants of the Blessed Isles that has only improved with age. Increased magic defense by this... I don't know. Not really. I mean, it is rare. We could improve it to become epic, but... How would this be any better? Just magic defense? No, I don't think so. Did get something here though. This nefarious root. Stamina and haste. Hmm. That would make her a lot tankier, I suppose. It could be also useful for Ilawi. Brahm can benefit out of it. Bonus damage and stamina. This is bonus magic defense, bonus damage and stamina. Maybe if we do this to him, because he doesn't really need to deal a lot of damage, so the less attack damage on him is the it's not the better, but you know. This, on the other hand, can come in handy on her, increasing her tankiness a bit, giving her some... Uh, but it's less attack power. Magic defense... Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's not not much of an improvement in regards of power, right? Uh, this door... Uh, we are supposed to have cleared everything, right? So, in theory, if we go down now, we should have this zone cleared a bit down here. So, those shadow stuff, the hands and things... They should be gone. Yeah, they're done gone. Okay. Amulet of Ascension, Orb of Pure Shadow. Timer, of course. Okay, hit him first. Great.
Because this guy first. Let's do this. Great. And now we do this to this guy. I could have actually ignited him before. Again. You have the strength of a season. Hundred and three to hundred and no, of course this. Not bad. Ah, uh, he missed her. Good. Yeah, this should heal him. Good. Oh man, I keep forgetting that there are waves and stuff. I'm trying to target that thing because it's attacking Ari. We cannot hit it before it actually hits us, so we can do this. Just a scratch. Even the weapon can use a Still breathing. Uh, they keep missing her. That's good. Another turn. Perfect. Beautiful. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. And then we do this and they both die. Like being searching. Ari and Misfortune, they keep level up. Okay, uh, upgrade point on her and on Fortune. She gets another level up. I don't really care about her level ups. What I care about is Ari's right now. So let's do this for her, because she got one point in this. Increase duration for four turns. Increase crit chance of all allies by 5% for the, the duration. I think we do this. We're gonna have to fight this big guy as per huge. We're gonna start by you doing this to everyone. Chill. Then we're gonna do this to you and be put in the shielding zone. Then you can simply do this to this guy and become invisible so he cannot target me. Let's do this to everyone. Igniting and damaging. Anyone is bleeding? No. Let's attack this guy. He's bleeding now. He's gonna attack her. Uh. Okay, we are gonna have to 
Did I do the tentacle thing? I think I did, but where is it? Oh, this thing cleanses people. Oh, damn it. Let's start with the alternate here. I'm not sure who died. I don't think anyone died, but yeah, he died. Good. All right. Now we can do this with her. Okay. We can do this to him because okay we did that because uh, he has executioner because he killed some people so what we're gonna do is we have this so we can actually heal a lot so let's do this to this guy to him No, don't you shit. You heal yourself, so you heal Alawi. Okay. Let's, Let's go harsh lesson on him. Probably here, not on the strong lane. Then we do this to this guy. Got you in the palm of my hand. I could have waited, but it's fine. Because I think they're too squishy and they would die if they get attacked directly. Okay, you're okay. You are more than okay. We can do this. Send it for one more turn. Uh, I think we can heal everyone with this, and we can also heal this like this. Can heal her here. Make sure that she doesn't die, so she can do some damage. She can alt here and heal everyone. This thing's really powerful. It keeps healing. Look at his health, man. Are you kidding me? 
more for me. She dies here. Unfortunate, I think she's gonna die here. Shit! Damn it! This thing is really powerful, man. Um, where is it gonna take me, though? Oh, shit. It's fine. It's not the worst. I've been through worse. You get the same stuff, we fight this thing. I have no fear. Again. Damn. It's linked, so we can do stuff to them without being afraid. So we can actually heal and stuff later on. I come with a crit. Fine. Okay, let's see. The rest of the stuff are typical. Okay. He's bleeding for how much? 33. Not enough. Oh, maybe it is. This is the guy. And she heals someone. There you go. That's fine, even if he summons it's not a big deal, we can we can deal with it. Are you supposed to be scared? A bit. could do this and then that and on my turn we burn him and then we attack I could have done it differently but it's the same basically is that, all? that is all and now we have to go back and try to attack that thing I mean I did uh, make a mistake there I need to uh, not do. I tried to uh, do the test thing on him. Quick chance or duration. Let's go for duration this time. Um, I did try to go for the uh, test on him while there was a cleanser. This thing. So we need to kind of take this thing out first. Okay, now you uh, start away. Maybe you start with this, you know? Let's take this thing out first, if possible, with her. It's okay. Yeah. 
This has a high chance of critting. It didn't crit this time though. Okay, now you can do this and go in the healing zone. She's not hurting people over time. Or is she? Maybe it is. She is, but I, I'm not seeing it. Okay, I could attack this and take it out. So we can have a, a stack I can use on it. And now we can do this to him. Build this up a bit. Now you can do this test on the guy. Right? Yeah, we can do it on him. It's okay. I'm trying to keep uh, his ult to be able to focus it on this guy, and I want to have it with the executioner also. So this should stack, kill him. We have another point we can deal with. We can do this to him here. She heals, she heals him, and with this stack she heals her. That's how it should work in theory. Wait, what? 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 Did she heal, heal herself or something? Maybe I misclicked and hit myself, uh, Ari instead, or something? Let's go for a harsh lesson. And be in the healing zone. Heal again. Right here. Okay, good. Excellent. That's much better. Yeah, I want to see his insides, man. Excellent. Alright, oof. Yeah, she kind of reminds me of some of my old teachers. Same attitude. Same punishments. Crack an eye. Harden ring. Yordle wreath. Okay. Equipment. Uh, for her, probably that's the crack an eye. I am mistaken. This is for you? Oh. What is this? An orb crafted by, an, by the Buru. 20% chance of on attack on to ignite the enemy on each head, dealing 174 true damage over three turns. Okay, that's not bad. The ignite is not bad. She it increases her stamina by 400, which is very good. It makes her a lot tankier. Reduces her damage a bit and reduces her healing ability a bit. We can try it. I mean, we have nothing to lose. Uh, I think we got some other stuff also. We got a ring, I think. Yeah, a harder ring, I think. One of those. Yeah. Then we got one of those necklaces, right? Yeah, we have now two two necklaces. One of them is this Yordil, Yordil's Wreath. A necklace made of mushrooms that enchants, enhances power. Bonus damage and stamina. What do I have right now? Physical defense, magical defense, stamina, and evasion. I've seen the evasion tr trigger a couple of times, but is it worth it? Power and stamina. Would this be useful on you, man? I don't think so. 
It reduces his crit by just a little bit, like 0.6%, which is nothing. Literally nothing. Increases his stamina and power. Why not? Yeah, this could be good on Yasuo. Could also boost it a bit. How about this one? The Amulet of Ascension. Increase stamina and crit. Yeah, this could be good on you. Right, this is better than this. This increases roll power. It makes you a bit less tanky. Damage and stamina could be also good on you, I suppose. Right. Less evasion though. I think evasion on her is not bad. No, I don't think so. Damage and stamina. That's not bad on her. 15, 15, 60, and 16. Now that's good on her. Makes her a bit tankier. Less magic resistance and uh, physical defense. But attack power is better. And the HP is better. We can also boost it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the enchantment. And go here and do this. And find it if possible I don't see it is it not like oh it's a green one right yeah it's here and then we can go here and boost it even further okay this should make you a lot stronger Oh yeah, that's that's much better. Now, if you try to compare it with other stuff, it's not so good. Yeah. That's the old thing that she has. She had a lot less power, a lot less... Yeah, okay. That's much better. Okay, so what do I gain out of this thing right here? I'm not sure what I have from it. In theory, it should be useful, right? Oh, right, we, wait, we got something else also. Uh, some orb that we don't really know what it does, and I don't see it anywhere. You see an orb? I don't think any of those actually could be one. Uh, maybe it's in the inventory. Maybe somewhere here. Orb of pure shadow. I don't know why some of those things are just put in the inventory and we have no idea what to do with them, you know? I'm gonna go there and see what we can do with the uh, beam. And then we can go back to Maokai. Let's rest here. Just party members. This time we're gonna try to take out uh, Ari and put Yasuo. And rest. And save and take a short break or maybe a long break. You know what? I, I think I'm done for today. I think I need to take some uh, long break and See if I can actually do something better with my life. I can read a book or something. And uh, yeah, alright guys, thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next time. You have a good day and bye-bye.